Initiation sequence. Initiated. Time until human extinction. In seconds. When will this oh. suffering end? This world was once a land rich with love and Eight. harmony. Then you really believe that? Go to Six. hell! You know, I'm rather not going to get back. This is far too much fun. Lovely Princess Feramon, you can look at her all day. She's pretty as a pal, she is. A princess, you say? So that's a uh, young princess of heritage. Royal blood, I presume. Just about as royal as they get. Interesting. Look, if you don't mind, it's been a long night. Oh, right, you're my manners. No, 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 no problem, sir. Uh, let me get the gate. Idiot. Oi, Tom Burr. Get your ass to the throne room, pronto! Ugh, how much did I drink last night? It feels like my brain's trying to escape through me eye sockets. I wonder what the king wants with me. A series of rivers run down from the northern region. They call it the Serpent's Kiss due to its winding banks. The rivers meet just short of the Great Scar. The Elder Scar, or the Gap as some call it. A true relic of the past. They say the Scar formed after a great battle, a fight between gods and men. It's lucky, because apart from that, Wrinkle was the only thing standing between the southern kingdoms and them nasties that lurk up north. There are some ominous looking mountains north of there. This could come in handy. This set sure was a rookie mistake. I found it at the pawn shop for half a shilling. I'll leave it where it is. It's a bit dusty. I'll leave it where it is. The busty barmaid and the seductive sorceress. I can't help but find the cliffhanger ending a little frustrating. 
Yeah, I think I've read that enough. I'll leave it there. The Definitive Collection of Convenient Excuses, Volume 2. Here's my pencil. Great for writing stuff down. One quid. Oh, mysterious book. I wonder what secrets you hold. Ah, wobble squats. It's just out of my reach. Shh, it's sleeping. It's too high for me to reach. Not to mention really heavy. Besides, I'm pretty sure it's empty. My trusty wardrobe, champion of hide and seek. Hold on, there's nothing in here. Someone's nicked my uniform. Nothing else. Darts, sharp and pointy. I'll just take one. Wouldn't want to be greedy. I've already got one. Two green bottles sitting on the floor. <laughs> I can't clean them up yet. I'm saving up to build a pyramid. There's still a good bit of life left in it. Lucky, because they're a pain in the arse to replace. Well, you can't reach it from down here. Besides, I've got a day or two before it needs replacing. Ah, baby blue. She keeps me warm at night. <laughs> hey, Dr. Jones, no time for love. Underwear, how raunchy. Unfortunately, they're all mine. They've been there for weeks. I'd hate to disturb them now. Someone's locked me in. It doesn't make any sense. I lost that key years ago. How the hell am I going to get out of here now? I think I'd be better off if I tied it to something first. That'll do nicely. Just don't tell Elf and Safety. Of all places. 
filthy street urchin larking about in the castle. Mm-hmm. Ponder. Dong's work. Never heard of him. Dusty, please escort Mr. Longskirt out of the castle. He's making the place stink of booze. <laughs> Say this, Shorty. I can smell the air on you from here. Sorry, tiny man. And where do you think you're going? Yeah, bugger off, Big Ears. Big Ears? You know, like an elephant. And why are you comparing this poor little lad to an elephant? Looks like the elephant man, doesn't he? I'm not sure I follow. Ha! Alright, bugger off, bubble face. Yeah, be it, blubber mouth. <laughs> oh, God, he sounds hilarious. We need to see the history of Amy. Jesus is here. He's still in the train case. We should see him when we get out. Oh dear God of all that is pretty! What's happened to you? I understand. I'm lazy too. Oh, right. I really stop stinging. Look, I got to break it to you. You're not making any sense. Go on then. What was it? Hornets. Nettles. Working girl. Don't answer that. Save me the spit shower. You know, a pinch of juicer roots or sort that. Might even have some down at the market. <laughs> Look, do you need me to write it down for you? I can see spoken word is not exactly your forte right now. Give me something to write on and I'll draw you a picture. <sighs> That's the ticket. Pass it here. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant at the market. You know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Hands off! That's not the you! Eventually, but first, one last kiss. 
Saru, I see. Don't cost ya. That stuff ain't cheap. Ten gold coins. Don't look like he's got the coin, boss. Aye, that's tough luck, kid. Maybe a good old-fashioned potato will do the trick. Whoa there, Echo Man. That's far enough. Don't mind him, his bark is worse than his bite. But if you ain't got the coin, you best start walking. Still open? We never close. Yay. Here at Fruit for Sale, we pride ourselves on providing the finest range of fresh fruit, exotic spices, and herbal remedies from across the land. Nowhere else will you find such rarities as the Argonian Bouncing Vine Fruit, Stodge More Virgin Rose Root, or even the highly sought after Stale Valley Beef Fruit. Although our reputation lies in selling the finest quality imports, we also offer a value range, catering to our lesser fortunate customers. Often misshapen, soured, or slightly fungal, our value range of fruit and spices offer the same medical benefits of fresh goods, only with the occasional bouts of vomit. I've got to admit, you're kind of adorable. Can't imagine you're half as fun normally. <laughs> Would you look at that? I think he's lost the plot, Barry. Sure looks like it. <laughs> we accept no liability for our customers' safety when shopping in the value range. Always chew responsibly and never swallow. I cannot stress that enough. Poor Jimmy. Little lad never listened. <laughs> That's right. Value for money. Plenty to be had at fruit for sale. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> Please, sir, spare me a penny. Sensical mumble as a no. I'm afraid we're all out of the boil remedy. <laughs> Could I tempt you with a rather large hat? Comes with a dash and pink bow. <laughs> a 
I'll give it to you for just 30 coins. <laughs> Quite a steal, ain't it? <laughs> Come back soon. Hey, hands off. That ain't for sale. Say, see the naked pigs in a small face and tip. Nice and looking like it. The pigs, baby. He's the only one in the city that has to keep us out of your friends. This one is a nice pig, boy. Makes him so kind of pretty here, boy. Pretty and stuff. The pig is from my kisses and pigs to the fire in the zone. Maybe they still walk. So kind of stuff, too, this time. It's more of a tiny little thing. hands off. You don't need your hands to look. Mm. 
Keep your grubby hands off. That furnace is operating at a finely tuned temperature. I don't need pesky halflings messing it up. I haven't any time for chit chat. Stop bothering me. Be off with you. That's close enough. You look like you're at boiling point and I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> How rude! My bowel movements are none of your business, lad. <laughs> you're a strange one. If you must know, I've had a terrible case of the piles this last week. <laughs> anyway, one would think you have more pressing matters to attend to, no? That's right. That's far enough. Don't mind him. It's better if he ain't got that. <laughs> you know, we can't sell spice to miners. <laughs> oh, ain't that cute? The lad's a bit slow. I think he's got something wrong with his face. Oh, right, you think? I thought that was one of them birthmarks. Nah, birthmarks don't leak like that. Right, you is. Sorry about that. You got any money, lad? Can't understand the word he's saying. Can you, Barry? Just give him a barge and he'll leave us alone. One of the furry ones. What do I look like? A bloody charity? Poor lad could do with a break. Tells you what, lad. Because I'm an honest fruit vendor and I pride myself on providing a quality service to all my clients, no matter their financial situation, I'll cut you a break. You can have just one of these fine fruit you see before you, but choose wisely, for while the ripe fruit will bring you good health, the stale fruit will take it from you. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. There you go. I 
So I have that stuff. Ten. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. Wow, I feel better already. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck like that forever. Maybe folk will start taking me more seriously now. Maybe. Please. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Huh. Right, well, make it quick. So, uh, what are you up to? Just turning the soil, ready for planting. Oh, I think it's been turned enough. Oh no, you see, it's gotta be real nice and fluffy, like a cloud. A black, thunderous cloud torn against the night sky. Eh, weird. I like your eye patch. Thank you. It's become as much a part of me as the skin on my bones. Do you ever take it off? The world isn't ready to see the horror forsaken upon me. Oh, right. Please, do not pity me. Save your apathy for my brothers. Your brothers? The Sons of Liberty. Liberty was my mother, a kind woman with a heart of gold. We owed and left to care for triplets. Eli, George and I, David. Despite our differences, my brothers and I worked hard to make a name for ourselves. Before long, our agricultural activities had earned up quite a desirable reputation. We clipped shrubs for the King and Queen of Westbridge, cultivated fruit for the Duke of Davner and, of course, tended the flora at the Castle Ringwood. That's where I live. Aye. A place I have not stepped foot in for 20 years. Wow, that is a long time. So, why did you stop working at the castle? It's dangerous work being a groundsman. You never know what might be lurking behind a begonia. Ain't that the truth? We were young and careless. We had no idea such slurry beasts lurked behind those walls. I still remember the look in their eyes. As the scaled beast whipped its twisted toils around their necks. And just like that, the sons of liberty were no more. That's so sad. I will never forget that morn. So, why the eye patch? Oh, right, um, one of the snakes bit me, you see. Ah, of course, yep. I thought that was obvious. Hmm, maybe I need to work on the delivery. Well, I'll be seeing you. Right you are. Has, uh, something taken your fancy? Actually, I have a few questions if you wouldn't mind. Sure, always got time for my paying customers. You've got money, right? Tell me about yourself, Sam. Well, um, what would you like to know? How about the story behind this here shop? Mighty fine collection of things you've got. Why, thanks, Tarnbird. Well, it's not that exciting, really. My father is a highly respected scholar and 
a mean adventure to boot. He spends his life travelling far and wide, writing great stories of his discoveries. Every few moons he drops by, restocking the shop with all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Most of it is junk, but with the right marketing, you can sell anything. So, that's about it. I've never actually gone with him, but we've sure heard a lot of stories. Wow, so all these things were found on different adventures? That's right. It's like a game to him. Always trying to bring back something new and exciting. Your dad seems like a cool guy. Sure is. You sure have a lot of uh, reserved items? Yep. Folk normally snap up the good stuff early on. If you'd like, I can sign you up to our mailing list. We're GDPR compliant. That way you'll know as soon as we get new stock. That'll be great. Thanks. No problem. I'll drop it by the castle with Barracks. Barrack is a member? Sure is. He picked up a novelty pulley this morning. Awesome! Secret club! Shh! Secrets. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. Hey! That... in their dress like this. I'd be the laughing Well, I'll be damned. Tomber! Now, that's more like it. Can't believe I didn't recognize you for. How'd you mess up your face all like that? Ugh, I've had the worst day, Barrack. Need somebody's ear to bend? I'm here all day. Well, after what seemed like a fairly successful birthday shift, I thought it rude but not sample a few of the drunken monk's finer beverages. Wise. This led deep into the night until dawn, for when I thought it appropriate to retreat into my dorm at the castle spire. Unfortunately, it became apparent this morning that I was missing a few things, hence my appearance. Oh? Well, that's a mighty unlucky turn of events, son. You're telling me. On the plus side, though, things can't get much worse. In fact, I've got something that'll make them half inch better. Have a look in the chest. Keys hidden in the usual place. It's locked tight. Barrack said the key is in the usual place. The uh, usual. Should be in here somewhere. Bingo. So that's where it was. Kept it safe for you, Tondi. My doublet and plate. It's a little crowded here. I'd rather get changed somewhere more private. If you'll excuse me. Looking better, Tommy. If you'd care to spare a minute, sir, I have a Go on then, but be quick with it. I've got work to do. So what is it you do here exactly? What kind of question is that? You blind or something? I mean, clearly you uh make swords and stuff. Aren't you a clever one? Yes, I make swords and stuff. And other stuff? Broadswords, halberds, maces, crossbows. Hell, I even made the plate on your doublet. Wow, you sure are talented. Someone's got to do some work around here. So, what would it take to get one of those shiny new swords? A lot more than you can afford, that's for sure. Besides, these are all made on commission. We don't do walk-ins. I'll have you know I work for the Wrinklewood Night's Watch. You think I don't know that? Small town like this, not a lot gets past me. I also know you waste most of your wages over at the Drunken Monk, Tondbert. I like to support local businesses. Look, these swords ain't made for folk like you and me. Why don't you pop on down to Sam's, see if she's got something for you. Might be a bit more in your price range. I doubt it. 
Thanks for your time. Be seeing you. Sorry about earlier, man. No feelings, eh? That's the castle clerk. He keeps an eye on things. The castle register. Keeps track of everything that comes in and out of the castle. Shane, can't make any sense of it from here. Hey there. Ah, oh, yes. Tonbert, isn't it? That's me. And how can I help you today, Tonbert? So, tell me everything you know about the castle. My pleasure. You've come to the right man. I've lived behind these walls since long before any of you folk were born. Simpler times they were. How so? Well, it was all bricks and mortar back in my day. None of these fancy flags and shiny floors. You see, we weren't the first folk to live in Rinkwood. Quite the opposite. What do you mean? Well, long before your king, there was another and another there before. The first king of Rinklewood was nothing more than a bully and a thief. An entitled rich boy from the Summon Kingdoms who stopped at nothing to get what he desired. A man with absolutely no respect for those who came before him. He raided the town and murdered its occupants, paving the way for his entitled regime. What was once a sacred house of worship became his home. You mean the castle? Exactly. He filled the halls with this cheap tat and paved over the entranceway to the catacombs. You mean to say there are people buried underneath the castle? Doesn't really feel right, does it? Anyway, he didn't last long. He was soon overthrown by one of the Alcafard brothers, Pimbrim. Pimbrim Alcafard was a wicked man. Much like his predecessor, he was interested in little but riches and wealth. Pembrim reigned over Rinklewood for many years, as I sat by and watched what was once a beautiful, civilized town become nothing more than another cog in the Algafard war machine. That's why there's so many of you guards. After the war, there was nothing left to fight for. The Algafard brothers had conquered the lands and left no stone unturned. Soon, Pembrim grew tired, disbanded his post and set course back to the Seven Kingdoms. Of course, someone had to pick up the pieces. That's where Theodore came in. King Theodore! Woo! I couldn't have been happier when Theo took the reins. Such a kind fellow. He was exactly what this town needed. That he is. I couldn't imagine a better man for the job. Quite. I could certainly imagine a few worse. Well, I guess that's about it. Any questions? What do you know of the wildlands beyond the gates? Only that which I've seen in my youth. There's the Elder Scar, formed thousands of years ago after the first fight of gods and men. The Deadwoods, a deep, sprawling maze of withered oak filled with unimaginable terrors. Not for the light of heart, I assure you. Beyond that is the greater northern region. I've yet to meet any man who dare venture into those treacherous peaks. Oh, and I hear we now have an outbreak of wrinkle worm, not far north of the town gates. Uh, wrinkle worm? Ghastly things. Fully grown, they're the size of a house, with jaws the size of doors. Should we not be a little concerned? Not a lot we can do. Besides, it seems to have nested ready for the winter months. Yikes, well, uh, thanks. I'll be sure to give that one a miss. I've heard a lot of talk of the Southern Kingdoms. South of Rinklewood are many kingdoms, towns, ports and cities. There's the seven cities of Alcaford, the port of Beswick, the sprawling farmland of Dubna, Arlington House and Chisudin, to name a few. Travel even further and you'll come across the Southern Kingdoms. A place where the rich and wealthy gorge themselves on fancy wine and expensive cheeses. That sounds delightful. You wouldn't like it. They eat fish for breakfast. Ugh. Right, of course. If you'd like to know more, you can always consult a tome from the castle library. I might just do that. Thanks. Not a problem, sir. 
what do you know of the one? Only that which bears the elders. Beyond that, who? Uh, girl. Ship, girl. That was very. This has been here for as long as I can remember. The royal coat of arms, a cool sign for Wrinklewood's great heritage. Uh, Tom Burt, you looking better? You guys suck. Did I just hear that, Roy? Don't appreciate that tone of voice, Tom Burt. But you had me kicked out of the castle, in the blooming Long John's. No, no. How exactly was we to know that was you? Yeah, you weren't exactly talking proper. Didn't make no sense from what I heard. And yet, normally you're so quick to notice my dwarven roots. A lot of dwarves about. Yeah, you ain't so special. Normally our beards though, wouldn't you say? He's playing silly buggers with you. You looking for an encore? Dusty? No, 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 wait a second. Look, I'm really sorry. I was just frustrated. It's, it's been a rough morn. I've overstepped my mark. <laughs> Look, Bobby, shake it. I'm really sorry, guys. I just I just wanted to see the king. What you want Dusty for? I'm not sure. Do we have a problem here, Tom Burt? Certainly not. No, 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 nada. No, just, uh, just on my way. It was lovely talking to you fellas. All right, Dusty. That'll be all. Dusty tired. King will be very happy to see you, Tom Burt. <laughs> Here, give him this when you see him. What is it? Nothing fancy, is it? No, 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 nothing. Nothing interesting. No. Just, uh, just some pantry requisition or something. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, on your way. Did he take it? Delivering the message as we speak. Haha, <laughs> man, you guys are too hard on him. <laughs> Rather him than me. I'll drink to that. What do you think the king will do? Beats me. They ain't gonna be pretty. Only time will tell. My apologies, sir. You see, I've had the worst. Yes, yes. You see, I've looked everywhere. Would you happen to know where my daughter is? No, my lord. Not seen Miss Fairman since the tournament. Crafty little whippersnapper. <laughs> oh, what's that you've got there, lad? Here you go, my lord. Believe it's a pantry requisition. Right. At the hour of sunrise this morn. Okay, fool's gold, act four, and... Tybalt, start the bleeding camera! Action! There once was a man with the will of a warrior. He guarded the kingdom whilst most laid their head. To carry his duties through ice, wind and rain. To know that his efforts are never in vain. I guess that's my singing practice done for today. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat supper. I'm a poor orphan and I haven't eaten in four days. Oh no, who is this strange man approaching me? I'm here to take all your gold. But I'm but a poor orphan peasant and I don't have any money. Then I will take your loot. No. Anything but my music! What is that? Oh, uh, the crystal's gone again. I told you not to buy the cheap ones! Oh my! Bloody idiot! The king will have our heads for this! Definitely something bad going on over there. Do you guys not hear that? Surprise! 
<laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. Anyway, you're coming with me. Princess Faramin is missing? Oh, God. Uh, sir, you... <coughs> um, never fear, sir. Tom Willer, he will save her. You can be sure of that. I'll go to the end of the world for Faramin. I mean, hopefully I won't have to. I'm sure she's not gone that far, right? Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave now. This ain't no taxi. Silence. I demand you take me beyond the scar. Nope, not gonna happen, mate. You can stand there all day for what I care. Ain't nothing stopping me from doing my job. Tundra expels it. Why'd you do that? <laughs> What's the matter, Tom, but King not like the news? I can't believe you guys. Hey, somebody had to tell him. Yeah, and you were so insistent on us letting you in. Just made sense, you know? Oh, please tell me someone is out there looking for her. Oh, don't worry, you little lad. Yeah, we got the Knights of Rinkelwood to handle that one. Four of Rinkelwood's most decorated heroes rode out of those gates this morning. But they're old and, well, quite rotund. Hey, it's not my place to comment on the physical stature of those lads. Yeah, King Payton boys are pretty bad for their troubles. Yeah, I'm sure they'll have her back in no time at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, I suggest you find someone else to bother. Yeah, Scram Kid, we've seen enough of you. Poor Ferramin. The Knights of Wrinklewood are no match for what lives beyond those gates. They're veterans, not heroes. There must be something I can do. I'm not ready to just sit by and wait for the funeral. Not again. Damn it, Tombert! Think! Oh, that's not important now! That's it. The note said that the princess vanished this morning while filming the final act of her new flicky, Fool's Gold. The scene took place on Lover's Walk, cast against the morning sunrise. I bet there I'll find a clue to solving this whole mess. This is my one chance to prove myself. I can't cock this up. Ha <laughs> I bet you will. Sorry, Tom, but can't let you past. I happen to be looking after an important crime scene. One which you're not allowed in. Hey, have you got a minute? Doesn't look like I'm going anywhere fast. Tell me everything you know about the kidnapping. Uh, why? I need to know every last detail. It's really important. Well, I wasn't there or anything. All I know is what Hendrik told me. Tell me what he told you. Just there was this big flash in the sky. Then the cinegraph thing broke. Before they knew it, there's this big old bang and everyone started freaking out. It wasn't until they stopped screaming that they realised Faramin was missing. So it was definitely some kind of witchcraft? Seems so. If you want to know more, you should go talk to Hendrik. He was there when all this happened. Remind me, who's Hendrik? Big fella, with the beard. He's got hair the colour of flame. Guy knows more about a kidnapping than anyone. Let's chat. You're new here, right? Tell me a little about yourself. I'd rather not. Huh? Honestly, I'm really not in the mood, Tom, but save it for another day, yeah? Oh, um, okay. Hope you feel better soon. Anything new to report? Since when have I reported to you? Hey, we're on the same team here. You not see anything, you know, suspicious? No, mate. Same old. Well then, keep your eyes peeled. Whatever you say, Tom Burt. Thanks. Catch you later. Hi. Looks like the jester's hat. That's the princess's guitar. There's a chair with the word director written on it. 
must have fallen over. Official tape. We use this stuff for doing official business. I'm not normally stuck on this side, though. I don't think he's going to let me... A big fluffy thing on a stick. He's not going to let... Not that I have much use... Hey, Hendrik, what's up with you? <laughs> Don't take me away! Easy fella, it's me, Tom Burr. Oh God, Tom Burr, the things I've seen. I've seen the darkness, the, the end. No, oh, come on, we've all been there. One too many drinks, everything is spinning. You're there, crying on the bathroom floor, waiting to die. It's not like that. This was clear as day. The whole kingdom was on fire. We saw the castle! Birds of the growl! That's silly, the castle's made of stone. What about Theremin? Did you see who took her? When I came to, she was gone. Nothing left, but a busted up loop. The other guys didn't see nothing neither. So no one saw anything? The princess just disappeared, just like that? Gone, without a trace. If you ask me, I'd say it was an inside job. Someone drugged the morning gruel, for sure. I ain't ever had a dream that looks so real, you know? Well, if that was the case, how come the cinemagraphers didn't see anything? Exactly! That's why we locked them up! Smart, eh? You've got to watch your back. Never know who they might take next! Right, so what you're saying is you have absolutely no idea where Ferriman is, and you're just going to sit here hiding? I'm... Uh, I'm on Overwatch! Sure, looks like it. Look! That's all I've got, mate. I love you know I've had a very stressful morning. Not half as bad as Ferriman's, I'll bet. Well, you've been incredibly unhelpful. Thanks. Wait! Tomber! Yes? The boys did spot some dodgy bloke stumbling into the mud. He's pissed as a new. No way he could have pulled it off. Funny, though. I've, I've never seen him around these parts till today. It's a bit suspicious if you ask me. Well, that's something, I guess. I'll see if I can get some sense out of it. Cheers. Don't let your guard down, Tonti. You never know who they'll take next. Crystal sure is nice to look at. Hey, Crystal, you got a minute? Always for you, sweetie. What's on your mind? So, what brought you to Wrinklewood? To Wrinklewood? Well, I've always lived here, silly. My father works up at the castle. What brought you to Wrinklewood, Tom Burt? Me? Oh, uh, I can't remember exactly. To be honest, I can't remember much before the storm. Oh, yeah, that was quite a night. Father wasn't pleased at all. Lots of damages to the castle. Of course, that means lots of paperwork. Father hates paperwork. Yeah, me too. What's your poison, Crystal? Oh, this? Elderflower and dangleberry juice. Huh? Why have I not tasted this exotic beverage? Oh, it's not on tap. Samson makes it himself fresh from fruits in the paddy fields. I thought booze came in barrels. Silly. It's non-alcoholic. Some of us likes to get up before midday. Oh, that's a shame. Your father works at the castle. Sure does. I'm surprised you didn't know. He keeps the books in order, handles requisitions, that sort of thing. Oh, sounds like an important job. Yep, sure is. If you see him, do say hi from me. You'll know it's him because of his spectacles and big bushy moustache. Oh, I think I know the guy. Mind you, I'm terrible with names. That's okay. Father keeps a book of those too. That's thinking smart. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? Me? I believe I was tending to my rosebuds. I like to get a head start on the day. So much to do around here. Rosebuds, eh? Wouldn't have happened to see anything suspicious during your morning endeavours? Not really. 
I was a little bummed to see some vagabond and half inch my milk, but other than that... Someone nicked your milk? Yeah, can't trust no one these days. Hmm, well, I'll be sure to look into that for you. Why all the questions, Tandy? Well, I can't say much as not to start folk worrying, but... Princess Faramin is missing! Oh no! Missing? How peculiar. You're telling me? One minute she was here, the next, poof, gone, in the blink of an eye. I must have looked everywhere for her. Oh, I do hope she's safe. Smart girl like Theremin, probably just fancied a change of scenery. I hope so. Anyways, I better continue my investigation. Thanks for your help. Not a... It was nice to meet you. too, Tarn Burke. Jo they say he's the best darts player in Wrinklewood. Maybe this year we'll make it through the qualifiers. Hey, uh, Merrick, right? Can't you see I'm busy, kid? How's the darts? Darts? Well, they're pointy to start with. No, I mean the game. Are you winning? Do I look like I'm playing a game to you? Well, uh... I'm partaking in a rigorous training routine, and you ain't helping. Right. Got any tips for a rookie? I dabble. Got my own dartboard back at home. Yeah, sure. Stop bothering me. Charming. How's the darts team going? What team? Those lazy buggers are holding me back. No commitment. That's their problem. No, nope, I'll be taking home the solo trophy this year. Got just the spot for it upon my mantle. Well, best of luck to you. Pah, I don't need luck. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? This morning? Well, I was at home, training. Oh, well, what about after that? Here, yeah, training. Right, and between those times? Seen anything suspicious? Out of the ordinary? Not really. I mean, there's this weird bloke that came knocking at my door. Didn't look much different than that fella at the bar. What do you mean? Well, call me old-fashioned, but I don't appreciate them magic types. Always got something up their sleeves. Mighty big sleeves, too. This one was different, though. His eyes were all messed up, got piss holes in the snow. Right, so you're telling me there was another suspicious-looking sorcerer, like that guy? Yeah, that's right. Much shorter, though. Started running his mouth, blabbering on about the princess. Theremin? Yeah, no doubt he saw her in his magic tea leaves or some codswallop. Young lad had quite the temper, stormed off as quick as he came in. This is all starting to make sense. Glad you think so. Anyway, tell him he's not welcome round these parts. I'll have a lot more than that to say to him. Do you happen to see where he went? Looked like he was headed for Lover's Walk. Say, wasn't the princess filming her new flicky there just this morning? Exactly. Pretty girl like that. Tracks all kind of weird folk. Well, thanks for the chat. Right. I'm an awful shot. Besides, it's already in use. I don't think the patrons of the drunken monk would be too pleased if I took their only form of recreational entertainment. Besides, I've already got one. There's always one. Luckily, any spillage will drain away into Wrinklewood's unique irrigation system. Barkeep doesn't take lightly to folk nicking glasses. I'll leave it be. Oh, hey there, little fella. Hey there, little fella. Ah. Oh. He's pretty scary. I'm going to avoid making eye contact. Hey, if I could just take a minute of your time. Get lost. Er, uh, you do realise I work for the Wrinklewood Guard. Don't sweet talk me. Go on, be off with you. Sir, I... Do you want to make this personal? I'd leave it out, Tonber. But I've got an investigation to do. I can vouch for him. He ain't done nothing. All right, but if I find out he's to blame, I'll... You'll do what? I, uh... I'll, uh, I'll have someone else deal with it. Yep, walking away now. This guy is new. Looks like he's seen better days. Wow, that thing sure is shiny. Wouldn't want to stand too close. I doubt he's going to let me take it. Barkeep, if you wouldn't mind. Right you are, Tonbert. One for this poor fellow, too. Chin up, mate. The guard will have the princess back before you know it. Fire! Huh? Flames! Sorry, I don't smoke. Eternal hellfire! Right. Barkeep, you know this man? Never seen him before in me life, sir. Crimson cast upon the skies. The fog that burns the eyes. Seems he's talking in tongues. How many has he had? Ah, uh, your guess is as good as mine. 
The man was blind drunk when he got here. The cogs are in motion. Uh, Pretty cog, whirring, grinding. Click, click, click. Sir, you, uh... The dawn of sin. One's here and gone again. Hmm. So, what's the deal with all this talk about cogs? A virgin bleeds for the wealth of the majesty. When one is lost, a thousand follow. When one is lost? You mean... A thousand follow. A foul... what? And another, and another. You've really got to stop drinking. Don't see much of your type round here. What brings you to our neck of the woods? The path has been chosen. Time will be his mistress. Oh, so you're on one of them quests? Get a lot of adventurers round here. Don't look much like you, though. My quest is over. Through the eyes of the beholder, the world turns swash. <gasps> Cheer up, mate. Positive thinking's a powerful thing, even when life knocks you down. You can always count on someone else being more miserable than you. Somewhere else. Exhibit A. Yours truly. I just lost the love of my life. We have made our bed, and now must lie. Waiting. We can't run from fate. I made my choice. In sobriety, I chose my fate. <laughs> Under influence, I will drown in it. Right. This calls for drastic measures. Hey, Barkeep, you got any of that pokey black stuff? You know, the one that sobers you up, good and proper. Right before sending you ass first into a week-long hangover? That's the one. Right you are. Fast as you can, please. There are lives at stake. When one is lost, a thousand follow. About this pointy stick here. Well, can I have it? I try to collect as many things as possible to put in my sack here. It's woven with infinity string, so it can carry pretty much anything. Never can be too prepared. Only the worthy can carry the element. I am no longer worthy. A thousand follow? What's that mean then? And then another. Another still. Damn it. This conversation's normally the other way round. We really need to sober you up. For he who tastes the blood of the dynasty will forever hold his own. Barkeep, what's the hold up? Coffee. Black. Down the hatch, mate. Blech. Talk to me. Fine. Just no more of that rancid black piss. I'll tell you what you need to know, but you won't like it one bit. What's the deal with all this talk about cogs? Like clockwork. The wheel has turned, the cogs spinning a perpetual motion. There's no stopping it now. You sure you've had enough coffee? I'll ask again. What brings you to Wrinklewood? I don't know. Fate? Destiny? Morbid curiosity? Take your pick. What do you mean? A thousand follow. I tried to stop him. I... I could have stopped him. God, it's all my fault. Stopped who? He was my student. My apprentice. Big ambitions. But no brains. Let me guess. Magic act went wrong. This is no magic known to man. Tis the dark arts. Known only to those with evil in their heart. Sure sounds like a handful. That boy will be the death of me. So what did your apprentice do, exactly? Do you really want to know how the world ends? Well, I've still got half a pint left. On your head be it then. It all started with a book. An ancient tome my bloodline has kept secret generation through generation. It was until this day that these pages of evil had been kept firmly shut. That is, until I carelessly left the door to my study unlocked. The lad was smart. I'll give him that. He must have already spotted the lockup in one of our monthly student-teacher catch-up meetings. A lavishly decorated wooden chest with intricately detailed gold trim. Securely locked, of course. He was waiting for the perfect opportunity to satisfy his curiosity. 
and this is where you kept the fancy book? Right. The book was adorned with an occult sigil, one said to influence those weak of mind. I believe this is when his corruption consumed him. Did you see him after this? Didn't fancy going after him? Oh yes, we met on several occasions. The lad was brief, always in a hurry to be somewhere else. I was sure it was him that had taken the book, so I followed him. He skipped between towns, villages and cities like a cartographer, never staying more than one night, but he was always sure to visit the local regency. He must have visited every castle in the Isles, from the deep south all the way to the northmost settlement. And then he found Wrinklewood. That's us! I followed him here last night. Some idiot working the gates let him walk right in. There's no wonder he chose her. Hold up. Something's not right here. Are you saying that your apprentice kidnapped the princess? Keep it down. I just want to sit here in peace and drown my sorrows. I don't need half the kingdom out for my blood. No, Feck! We have to do something. It's no use. He's probably already done it. Done what? A sacrifice of royal blood. A deal with the devil. I have seen the future as I gazed upon the looking glass. It all burns. Hold up! Sacrifice! Nothing can be done. Fate has chosen. I have seen it. Time stops for no man. Look, you might have made up your mind, but some of us don't give up at the first sign of trouble. You've read the book, right? you got to know where he's headed. The road to immortality is long. He is far from here by now. Time to cut the ominous, riddle me diddle apathetic crap. Where exactly is far? Ugh, here. Take this. On your grave, be it. What's this? It'll tell you all you need. Now, leave. Let me keep what little dignity I have left. This is some serious stuff. Where'd you get this? I stole it from his pack sack. I was hoping I could make some sense of this whole mess. Alas, there appears to be a page missing. Maybe you'll have better luck. Yep. Leave it to me. Now, don't go running off anywhere. No funny business. I have no intention of leaving. Er, uh, hey, I never caught your name. It's Drareth. Well, Drareth, you can rest easy. Tombert's on the case. The princess will be back by nightfall. You got my word. I wish that were true. The Dark Arts, a beginner's guide to the path of sin. Hmm. I need to find out what these symbols mean. I should probably examine this creepy book whilst I'm at it. I doubt he's gonna let me take it. It's the pub's lost property box. I hate to think what's in there. Let's see what's in here. There's a used hanky, half-eaten sandwich, set of mouldy dentures, and a key. I think this is the key to my bedroom. Well, it's worth a go. Yeah, sure, just take it. Be my guest, bloody guards. Wait a second. This map looks strangely familiar. Like I've seen it a hundred times before. Hmm. Now, I might be wrong, but this map looks eerily similar to the view from my bedroom. Only one way to find out. This looks like some sort of burial crypt. Some sort of river, possibly? Wrapped around mountains. I swear I've seen this before. Some sort of ancient text is written atop the page. Are these instructions? If only I could read the text. There's more text here. Maybe I can find a book to help translate it. I'm guessing these are trees.
That's it. Those squiggles, they're mountains, and that's the lake. I knew I'd seen them somewhere before. It's a map of the wildlands. If I had any idea what this all meant, I could probably save Fairman. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Something just fell out of the book. It's a library card. What are the chances? I need to find out what these symbols mean. Maybe there's a way to get this translated. It's a library card for the castle library. It leads down its lock. Striking likeness of our heroic leader, King Theodore Barrington, painted by the greatest artisan in all the lands. Such a modest fella. It's so big, I don't know where I'd put it. She must be the new librarian. Hey there, I've got a few questions. What's puzzling you? So, what's the oldest book you've got? Why, that'd be the Royal Register. It's been around as long as this castle. <laughs> Your name will be in there somewhere. And mine. So it's not just for royals? Oh, no. Everyone who's worked in the castle gets added to the register, eventually. My father's in there, and his father before him. Me? Can I see? I'm afraid the register's off limits to folk like us. Is there anything else I can help you with? So, how'd you end up working in the library? Here? Well, it's kind of a long story. You sure you've got the time? I'm in a bit of a rush, but I'm a sucker for a good story. Is that so? Well, you come to the right place. Go on, give me the highlights. All right, I'll make it quick. You see, I was born here in Wrinklewood, but a stone's throw from the castle. My family owned the house by the gates, and each morning I'd wake up to the sun breezing beyond the wall. As I was growing up, my father would always tell the best stories. Tall tales of the world beyond the gates. Tales of how he travelled from the Seven Cities. Met my mother in Baselwick and built a house here in Runklewood. I guess I was always more interested in the things out there than I was in here. When I came of age, I couldn't hold my curiosity back. It was time to see the lands for myself. I travelled far and wide, meeting quite the collective along the way. I picked up work where I could and never looked back. I found myself settling in a small town not dissimilar to this, called Ardington. You might have heard of it. Wasn't that the place that, uh... Yeah, yeah. Rent to the ground. Truly tragic. I lost a lot of good friends that day. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, what's life without a little tragedy? Besides, 
that was where my book turned a new leaf. Or page, you could say. The kind folk of Wrinklewood were truly supportive in their efforts to help us Ardingtons. For weeks, we were sifting through rubble, trying to salvage anything or worth. Sadly, there was little left of the town library. Many folk still blame us for the fire, you know? Us? Oh, mind my words. Seems I jumped the gun a little there. <laughs> there were three of us, the bookkeepers of Arding House. Alas, my colleagues weren't so fortunate. So what? You moved back to Wrinklewood and became our bookkeeper? Exactly that. I think my mother appreciated the help. Despite her best efforts, she's not as young as she used to be. <laughs> no. Well, you've gone through so much and yet... No, no more than most folk. But I'm glad to say I've seen the lands. Well, colour me impressed. Oh, nothing a brave guard like yourself hasn't seen before, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Anyways, I best be going. Thanks for the story. Do mention it. Oh! You really should consider signing up. Plenty more stories to be found across our shelves. Yeah, I'm working on it. Pop by any time. Thanks. Do you have anything on creepy old forgotten languages? I've got this old book, you see. Sure. Of course, you'll need to be a member to access the collection. But there's lives at stake. Sorry, sir. Drat. Is there anything else? Thanks for your... Do Thank you, uh, Gwenifer. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's me. You can call me Gwen. Okay, Gwen. You're free to peruse the books at your leisure. If you have any questions, just ask. You'll find we have quite a... Thanks. Hey there. Do you have anything? I've got this old... Sure. You can find your collection in Section E, under Ancient Language and Literature. Thanks. Is there anything else? Anything. Nothing new, I'm afraid. About. Mm. Thanks, any. Thanks. You. There must be hundreds of books. I should speak. I can't take that. How would anyone find that? I can't reach those books. It's the ancient language and literature section. Guide to the Path of Sin. Book 1. Demonic Verse and How to Speak in Tongues. Now, to translate that creepy book. So from what I gather, the Shogoroth was buried here in the northern region. Looks like Faramir's kidnappers buy it into a blood sacrifice. Except it's not his blood, he'll be spilling. You offers the royal blood will be forever granted the vitality of gods. This is serious. I need to get to the northern region before he does. There's no time to waste. Looks like Gareth has taken over from Barrack Schiff. You should be a detective, Tom Burke. Miles Forder, at your service. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have you got a minute? Do I look like I'm going anywhere soon? So, what's it like working the day shift? It's like the night shift, Tom Burke, but with more sunlight. Why do you always have to be so smart? Tom Burke, as much as I appreciate the company, I was halfway through a particularly pleasant daydream. If you wouldn't mind, cut the small talk. Alright, spoil sport. 
anything to report? Night walk. Anything I should know before my shift tonight? Any major developments? What do you think, Tom Burt? The princess is still missing, and you've still got to take over for me when night falls. You're not thinking of going out there after her, are you? You're damn right I am. Why is everyone in this town just so happy to sit around and wait? All the while Theremin is out there, alone. She who we've sworn to protect, might I add. Look, mate, I'm not about to stick my neck on the line for some royal who ain't never given me a second glance. I don't get paid enough for fighting beasts. You really think that plate's going to hold up against the razor-sharp jaws of a wrinkle worm? Look, Theremin's not far. I know it. No way he's got beyond the scar. You'll see. I'll have her back before nightfall. You better be, Tom, but I ain't covering for you. How's the Whitlin coming along? Ah, uh, yes. My magnum opus. Magnum what? It's a turn of phrase that means best thing ever, better than anything you could do. Oh, right. It's coming along fine, Tom Burt. You still making that one of the castle? Just finished carving the last spire this morning. Soon, I'll have the whole town done. It's like a moment in time, forever captured in oak. Unless we have a fire? Listen here, Tom Burt. I'll throw you onto the flames before my baby burns. Your baby? <laughs> yeah, all right. Laughing up. Some of us have dreams, Tom Burt. I'm just pulling your leg. I'd love to see it sometime, Gareth. Yeah, well, if the king likes it, you'll be able to see it every day. Would look proper nice in a glass case or something. Oh yeah, you can have it on show in the hallway or something. So, are you gonna make a mini me? A tiny wooden tombert? <laughs> I've already got a tiny wooden tombert right here. We well, don't need another one. Uh, the height joke. Hilarious. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? Sleeping, tombert. Like most normal folk. Yeah, but what about after that? I fed Rocky and let him out to stretch his wings. That's your pet pigeon, correct? Tom Burt, how long have I known you? Yes, Rocky's domestic. Pigeons make for wonderful company, you know. Give them some corn and they'll give you their heart. Right, so after that you did what exactly? See anything suspicious? Well, by that time, everyone was flapping about about the princess being missing. I put on my garb and ate some grub and then I walked here. You know, now you mention it, if someone were to sneak into this town unnoticed, wouldn't that have happened on your shift, Tom Burt? What are you getting at, Gareth? Oh, nothing. Just, if she went missing at sunrise, then surely the bloke who nicked her snuck in overnight, you know, on your shift. Ha! If someone had come in here, I would have known about it for sure. Just saying, that's all. You asked. Well, there's no need to go pointing fingers. We're in this together, and our number one priority is to get Theremin back. Right. Well, you best get on it, Tondi. Well, keep on... Right. Hold it right there, Tom Burt. I'm afraid you'll be needing the DLC to access any areas beyond this point. What in God's name is DLC? Sounds like some sort of horrible disease. It's pretty simple, mate. You can't leave the town without it. DLC, or Death Liability Contract, for you wordy types, means the crowd ain't held liable if anything happens to you. Which is more than likely, might I add. Heh. I don't care about any of that. So long as Theremin's out there, I'll stop at nothing to get her back. Well, you stopped right here until you get the contract. Go speak to the clerk if you're so determined. Right, then you'll let me out? It's not like I can stop you. Hey there. Ah, oh, yes. Tombert, isn't it? That's me. And Hulk. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? This morning, I was in my quarters, resting. A man of my age needs his sleep. I'm not as fit as I used to be, that's for sure. And have you, perchance, seen anything remotely suspicious this morning? You mean, apart from the part where you were thrown out of the castle in nothing but your long johns? Yeah, I'm trying to forget that bit. Not really, lad. No. I was, however, a little perplexed upon arriving to my post this morning. How so? Well, you see, each night when retreating to my chambers, I make sure that all of my papers are locked away safely in this here podium. Except this morning, they were not. The podium was unlocked and a number of my papers were strewn across the floor. Troublesome children, no doubt. Sounds mighty suspicious to me. I'll take note of it, thanks. If you could get to the bottom of it, I'd be most grateful. Can't have layabouts messing around with the royal records. Gareth says I need some DLC thing to leave the kingdom. 
What's that all about then? Sounds like a load of nonsense to me. Well, you see, Tom Bud, with all these disappearances, kidnappings and the like, we've had to reevaluate our policies as a company. If you die out there, we aren't to be held liable. The Treasury simply can't afford it. Except, technically, we are, so, uh, that's what the death liability contract is about. By signing the contract, you hereby waive any and all the claims you may have against and release from all liability and agree not to sue the Crown, its owners, employees, affiliates, agents, and for any personal injury, death, property damage, single lot, you get into any trouble out there, and we can't help you. Sorry, lad, simply haven't got the manpower. I'll be damned if I'm leaving Ferriman out there alone. Give me the feathery writing thing. Where do I sign? Oh, uh, right. I could have sworn you'd change your mind. Well, in that case, I'll just need to see some ID. ID? Sure. Need to know you're not signing for someone else. We'd be daft not to check. Drap. So, uh, I guess I'd like to apply for an ID card. Right you are. Did you bring your birth certificate? Uh... How about a utility bill? What's a utility bill? Look, this is serious, lad. I can't go issuing these things to just anyone. I presume you have the processing fee. How much is the processing fee? Fifty coins, my lad. Mind you, what with these new DLC laws, there's quite a waiting list. Waiting list? Sure. Suddenly everyone needs an ID. Honestly, when Princess goes missing and every dick Tom and Harry wants to win her back. Exactly how long are we talking? Well, seeing as I have to take them for processing myself, I'd say about three weeks. No rest for the wicked, that's what I always say. Honestly, this is just getting ridiculous now. Look, I'm sure my uh, ID's just in the other pants. And I'll be happy to write up the DLC when you've found it. I still can't find- Well, I'm afraid I- Can't you make an exception? Sorry lad, it'll be you first, then before- Good be fiddles. That was- Hmm, let me see here. Sorry, I not what they used to be. Hold on, something's not- Your ID card- I'd even say, this isn't an ID card at all. Come back. Hmm. If you'd care to spare- Go on. Sir, where were you when the sun rose this morning? What's it to you? I'll have you know I'm investigating a matter of the utmost importance. The sudden, mysterious disappearance of Princess Ferriman. You wouldn't have happened to see anything suspicious, would you? Look, lad, I don't know what you're expecting, but much like the rest of the townsfolk, I was laying my head. Woke up shortly after sunrise, had some toast, and went to work. Hmm, okay, sounds believable. So the princess is missing. Terrible, isn't it? Can't imagine the king's happy. You could say that. Last I saw, the man was practically drowning in sorrow. Let me guess. You're going to be the one to bring her back. Sure am. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. Are you sure she didn't just run off with some young prince from one of the neighbouring kingdoms? You should watch your tongue. Faramin would never do such a thing. Wouldn't be so sure of that, lad. Anything I've told me on your stay vigilant. You are. Thanks for your time. Be safe. Has actually, ship, you've got. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? Sleeping. Why did you ask, Don Burr? Well, as it happens, I'm investigating. Oh? I'm afraid to say I'll. D <gasps> yep, but hey, look, I just need to figure out how. I don't even know where she's gone. Well, if any. Thanks, Sam. No, um, oh, do. Well, there's not much to it. Uh, it's just that when I opened the shop this morning, our entire stock of novelty daggers was missing. 
Good. Just like that. No sign of a break-in. Hmm. That sounds mighty suspicious to me. I'll write it down in my report. Thanks, Sam. Happy to help. So, uh... You've not had anyone causing any... Nothing, no. Why do you... Just doing my job. You... Don't see much bother around these... Thanks, Sam. Don't men. Thanks for... Hey, Chris. Oh, what's up? See that? You mean other anything? Sorry, sweetie. Just look after yourself. Sure. Thanks. It was nice. You. Run me through that sack. Uh. Anyway, about the pointy stick. Only the worthy can carry the element. I am no longer worthy. What'll it be? I just have a few. All right, but me. So, what brought you to Wrinklewood? Me? Ah, uh, the women mostly. Although that time has passed. I used to be a pretty big deal down in the Southern Kingdoms. Had me own microbrewery. But that life weren't for me. Too much fish. Ugh. So I sold me shop and moved up here, catering to a more loyal type of customer. Wow, you've had quite a life. Seems everyone has done something exciting at some point in their lives. Well, except for me. Ah, uh, don't be so hard on yourself, mate. You've got plenty of years left for that sort of lark. Yeah, you're right. Besides, I've got no time for self-reflection. Not with dear Theremin still missing. If I hear anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks, Samson. So, where does all the beer come from? Most of it's from the Seven Cities. We get the occasional guest ale in, but that's the bulk of it. But how do you fit it all into this tidy tap? The beer's in the cellar, Tom Burt. You have a cellar! Why did I not know this? Is that where you keep the bodies of your victims? <laughs> ah, no, Tom Burt. That's where I keep the beer. If you're lucky, one day I might even show you it. Wow. Do you ever sleep, Samson? Seems that no matter what time, you're always here. That's because you are always the last one out. My sleeping pattern is based solely around your drinking hours. Eh, <laughs> weird. Eh, not really. So, where were you when the sun rose this morning? Sleeping, of course. Much the same as you, I'd wager. You had quite the night last night, mate. You beat your own record, that's for sure. Stop changing the subject. Now, you happen to see anything suspicious? Today? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. The cloak fella is new. Yeah, what's with the glowy stick? <laughs> Dark arts, no doubt. Suspicious. Need to keep your head down, Tonbert. Tis always the best way. Not today, Samson. Well, cheers. See you later. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Hey, doesn't know. Anything since. Hey, you're not. No, mate. Well, then. Whatever you. Thanks. Hi. Strong little fella, probably enchanted. Hey there, little buddy. Hmm. Hmm. I can't reach it from here. Nature's roof insulation. Oh, you don't think so? I'll hold on to this for now. I'm not going to give it to just any. Thanks. No thanks.
There's been enough vertical gameplay already, thank you very much. Strong little fella, probably in chat. Nothing much but dust and dead bugs. sun rose this morning? Um, well, I was here early. I had to check the inventory again. Why'd you ask? I'm asking everyone. Hopefully someone saw something suspicious. Oh well, I'm afraid I can't help you. No trouble. Anything else? Ah. Thanks for your... Do. There is a study. Just gotta find a... Thing. I am conducting an investigation of the utmost importance. Any tampering or tomfoolery will be seen as perverting the course of justice. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I am far too busy for small talk. Rude. Hey, there's someone that wants to see you. It's really... Oh yeah? Barrington himself. Where did you see them exactly? Throne room. Right. And why me, exactly? Because they'll cut off your head if you don't. So you're telling me? Barrington himself wants to see me. In the throne room, because... They'll cut off my head if I don't. Uh, yep, that's it. Well, i best get going then. Wouldn't want to leave the king waiting. Just keep keep an eye on the place. My pl he could be back any minute. I don't want to get caught in the act. I need to find a. Nice. It's blocked the door, good and proper. Let's see what we've got here. Film reels. Unfortunately. This could come in handy. Let's try this again. Looks like I can load the blank film here. Still not working. Maybe I've not loaded the film correctly. The film's loaded, just need to figure out how to get this thing rolling. Looks like that did the trick. Sounds like Summit's working. Ooh! Snapped a good photo. Hmm. Well, the film's changed colour, but the frames are all blank. Maybe there's more to this than I initially thought. I can just about make out the leg fixed. I can still make out the develop. Smells kind of. I'll just test it on. Oh, I think it's. Well, so the photo's ripped still wet. Photos cleared up consi- I think I just need to wash off this sticky stuff. I'll just give it a quick rinse. It's per- Looks just like- It's amazing what you- This should do the trick. I'll just stick this to the library card the old fashioned way. Nice! My very own, somewhat sticky, ID card. Hopefully it's enough to trick the clerk. Time to test his peepers. I can't get out that way now. I can't.
can't reach it from all the way down here. Looks like this leads round to the main entrance. Time to make a speedy getaway. Wonderful picture, Tom, that really captures your eyes. Well, everything checks out. Just sign here and here. Is that all? Yep. Thanks for your cooperation. You are now free to roam the wildlands at your leisure. Well, I guess I'd uh, better get going then. Princess to save and all? That you should, lad. I'm sure the knights will take any help they can get. It's time to save the princess. Oh, shut up, Tom Burke. One signed death liability contract. Yep, all seems in order. Well, on your grave beer, just try to come back in one piece. Hey, Tom Burt. I'll be back in no time, just you wait. 